thank you everybody for coming out tonight. I know it's uh, been a been a bit of a long wait, uh, but uh, we do have some results. Uh, CBC is reporting a win for Brandon Leslie and the Conservatives. Uh, all the polls haven't come in yet. We're, they're reporting about 58%. Uh, we here at the PPC, we're sitting at around 18%, but still growing. And uh, Max is certainly in good spirits. He'll, he'll be on stage here in a few minutes. But uh, I wanted to really thank everybody for being out here tonight. Uh, thank you for your, your hard work, your, your dedication, your support of the party. I'm incredibly proud of the work that we've done here at the PPC to really advance all sorts of issues. Uh, we ran a great campaign. We, we put a lot of issues on the table. We were the only party that actually put forward issues. If you looked at what the Conservatives were talking about, they, they didn't, didn't put forward much. In fact, they put in a lot of negativity, a lot of fear. Um, I think that's, uh, that's the wrong way to go. I think we need principled leadership in this country. And I think uh, the fact that we continue to grow uh, as we have just over the, the short lifespan of the PPC is a testament to the change that uh, Canadians are starting to wake up to from coast to coast. So we should all feel quite proud of, of all the hard work we've done here today. And with that, I do want to announce and, and uh, welcome in our leader and an amazing candidate, Maxime Bernier, leader of the People's Party. Hello, everybody. First, uh, first, I want to thank everyone who ran this uh, campaign with me and with our team. Thank you to my team here in Portage Lisgard, Noel, Todd, Rick, Denise, Nancy, Sarah, and our many volunteers on the ground. And also, all, everybody that came from outside the riding, to help us. Loraline, for sure. Yeah, thank you, Loraline. <laughs> Michael, Walter, Peter, Just, Nick, and Monty. Thank you, everybody. And also, I want to thank our PPC candidates who run in the order by elections. Wendy Martin in Oxford, and Tyler Bear in Winnipeg South Center and Tiny Olinga in Notre Dame de Grasse, Westmont. I'm so proud of all of you and all those across the country who contributed to these uh, by-election campaigns. So, yes, I'm proud. I'm proud of you guys and all those across the country, everybody, because what we are doing here, it's a common sense revolution and it may take times to be able to achieve that revolution. And I can tell you that we run the best campaign here in Portage Les Guard. We were, we had a strong campaign, organized and professional, and I have never seen a more professional campaign. And I want to thank everybody for that. We run we ran a clean campaign telling the truth, whereas the conservatives resorted to panicked, disgraceful tactics and outright lie. They were lying to us, they were lying to you. We can be proud of our campaign, and of course, I must admit, the result is not the one we would have preferred. But don't forget, this riding has been a conservative stronghold for many years. It is not easy to reverse a 30-point advantage, but we did it tonight. We reduced it. And that's important because I'll be with you at the next general election, and at that time, we will win. We reached out to thousands of people and built a larger support base in this riding. We gained hundreds of new members. We recruited and trained many new volunteers. Our ideas are better known and better understood. When the general election comes, we will be better prepared 
than ever before. Because I can tell you already, we are not going anyway, and I'm not going anyway. I will be with you to do that fight in 2025. <laughs> Last week, a former conservative campaign manager said, and I quote, the conservatives' focus was to absolutely destroy Maxime Bernier and the PPC. End of quote. Well, I have news for them. You fail, you fail again, and you will fail at the next general election. The establishment tries to do this every election. And it's what many in the mainstream media expect at every election. They hate that we exist and call out these issues. They declare these issues all the time untouchable and supposedly to be settled. But for, not, for us, it is not settled. We need to be out there and to speak about what we believe with passion and conviction about reopening the abortion debate, about the trans toxic ideology. We need to be there and to be out and speaking to our people. We are not fading away. We are, in fact, stronger than ever. You will see me again soon in the streets of Portage Lisgar, in Winkler, Morden, Altona, Portage La Prairie, Carmen, Roland, and other places in this riding, I will be your PPC candidate here in Portage Lisgar at the next general election. We have two more years until the next general election to convince the people of Portage Lisgar and Canadians across the country that the PPC best represent them. We will keep promoting our principles and policies and convincing more people until we get PPC MPs in the House of Commons. <laughs> Yet, with or without seats, we are giving a voice to millions of Canadians who the establishment parties do not represent. How many millions of Canadians in the past few years have woken up to the reality of this country's decline and the conservative complete failure to stop it? We should not look for a quick victory and be demoralized when it does not materialize. I, and I, you know that. It takes time to convince Canadians that we need a drastic change, of course, to reverse years of bad liberal policies and weak conservative opposition. But we are here for the long run, and we believe we will win. Just, we don't know when. But if more and more Canadians are able to listen to our message, we will be able to win that battle of ideas and win that common sense revolution together. We are fighting for the fate of our country and we will fight as long as it takes. We cannot lose our hope and our nerve. Our work does not end after voting day. Step by step, we are growing. The conservative are hoping the PPC will go away. <laughs> I have some questions for them. Will the insane push to confuse, transition, and mutilate our children go away without us, without the PPC? No. Will the need to fight back against the woke cult and globalism go away without us? No. Will the dissolution of Canadian identity due to mass immigration Stop without us speaking about it? No. Will the corruption 
of the establishment parties go away? No. We will need, and we need, a common sense populist alternative, and that won't go away. So, what I want to tell you, we are there, and we have a support of a lot of Canadians, and we are part of our democratic system. We are a voice for a lot of Canadians who are counting on us, and you can count on us. We will always be there to defend our principles openly with passion and conviction. We won't do any compromise with our ideas because we know we, are, we have the best ideas and we have the truth on our side. And that's why I understand that the fake conservative candidate didn't want to have any debate during that electoral campaign because you cannot you cannot debate against the truth and the common sense. It's very difficult, but we are here to stay. That's my main message to every Canadian. You can count on the People's Party of Canada to be the only real opposition to the mainstream media who are canceling us and don't want us to exist. We are the only opposition to the Conservative Party of Canada, who are taking your vote for granted here in Western Canada. But I know more and more people understand that all that must end. And we, the People's Party of Canada, we are the new Reform Party. And you did that common sense revolution in the 1990s with Preston Manning, and I believe that common sense populist revolution will start here in Portage Lisgar. But maybe not tonight, but it will start here. You will make history and we will make history together. <laughs> Le fait que nous n'avons pas encore élu de député veut pas dire que nous avons de mauvaises idées et que nous devrions changer, ou qu'il n'y a, qu a pas de place pour notre parti dans la politique canadienne. Ça signifie simplement qu'il est très difficile pour les nouveaux partis d'émerger dans notre système électoral. Nos idées sont les bonnes et nous ne changerons pas. Ce que nous ferons, c'est de continuer à travailler fort pour convaincre un plus grand nombre de personnes que nos idées sont les bonnes. We will continue to promoting our ideas with passion and conviction because we know they are right. There is a place for us in Canadian politics. Our ideas are popular with Canadians, but the establishment does everything possible to convince people otherwise. It's difficult for a new political party to emerge in our electoral system. That just means we will have to work harder and smarter than the establishment political parties. You can count on me, we will do it, and we are ready for it. I believe that Canadians need our voice and we need their support. So tonight, it's only the beginning of a new era. We are building something strong, something important for the future of our country, because we know that we together can save our country and regain the Canada that we love. So stay strong and free and fight always for what you believe. You can count on me. You can count on our party. We will be with you all the time and I'll be with you. I will work here in this writing to be sure that when we'll have another opportunity at the next general election, we're going to win. We're going to win that battle. We're going to start again that common sense populist revolution together. Stay strong and free, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you.